Hi, so as uh, promised, uh, let us do a bit of uh, revision over the um, uh, greedy algorithm as well as the knapsack problem. So for the knapsack problem, imagine that you are uh, the professor and then you escape the uh, bank heist with, with uh, truckloads of money, or rather with, with loads of uh, bags of money. And then you're trying to make your getaway and your truck is able to hold only X kg of cash. And your cash comes in various weights and of course each individual bag will have a different value and your task is to ma maxi <coughs> excuse me, maximize the value that you can drive away with so this will be uh, the example of uh, three items item 0, 1 and 2 they have uh, different values value 4, 3, 10 and also different weights uh, so that item 0 weighs 5, let's say 5 kg item 1 weighs, weighs 3 kg, item 2 weighs 5 kg so there are two versions of this in the first version it is the uh, 0, 01 version which is you either take the item or you do not take the item the second one is the fractional net sec problem which, which means that you are able to take part of the problem or rather part of the item and for the greedy algorithm uh, it will be an optimal solution for the fractional knapsack problem but it will not be optimal for the 0-1 version and uh, we'll find out why in a moment so the first thing that you will want to do is you want to find out what is the value per weight of each item why meaning that for each kg of item you will probably want to take the item that has more value so that is the main reason why you would want to have the value per weight metric over here so in order to calculate this you will take the value and divide it by the weight so for item 0 the value per weight is 4 by 5 for item 1 it is equals to 1 for item 2 it is equals to 2 so if I do it by the greedy algorithm way and my greedy algorithm states that I want to take the maximum uh, value per weight item first for the fractional knapsack problem uh, it will be it will be ideal it will be ideal because I'm going to first take 5 kgs of item number 2 3 kgs of item number 1 and 2 kgs of item number 0 so forgive me for this it should be 2 1 and 0 so I'm going to take 5 kgs of item number 2 3 kgs of item number 1 and 2 kgs of item number 0 and that will give me 10 kilograms yeah, hi. so as promised uh, we will do a little recap over the uh, greedy, alg greedy algorithms and dynamic programming and in particular we will look through that of the knapsack problem so imagine that you are the professor in the, uh, the Netflix uh, bank heist and you escape the mint and you have a lot of bags of cash each cash comes in various weights and value and your aim is to load up your truck the, con the constraint is that the truck only holds x amount x kg of cash so of course your task is to maximize the value that you can drive away with and uh, this uh, this is an example of uh, the three items of uh, cash cash so for example item number zero has value of four and a weight of five item number one has value of three weight of three item number two has value of ten weight of five so there are two versions of the knapsack problem the first is a zero one version and this is when you either take the item or you do not take the item and the second is the fractional knapsack problem and that is if you are that um, you are able to take part of the item only and we will find out um, in a moment that the uh, fractional knapsack problem has a greedy solution that is optimal whereas the 0 1 does not have and in fact we need to use dynamic programming to solve this so example if the truck is able to take 10 kgs and if we have the fractional knapsack problem the, the, the way that we're going to do it is that we want to find out what is the value per kg of each individual item and in order to solve that we are going to take the value divide this by the weight 
so for item number zero, we're going to get four by five. Item number one will be the value of one. Item number two will be the value of two. So each individual item will have their respective value per weight metric. And if we look at it from a greedy algorithm of angle, we have to find that which are the items that hold the most value per weight. We are going to load it into the truck first. So in this case, item number two has the most value per weight, followed by item number one, followed by item number zero. So for the fractional knapsack problem, we will then load up five kgs of item number two into the truck, and subsequently three kgs of item number one into the truck. This brings us to a weight of eight kgs. We still have two kg remaining, and we'll load up item number zero with or rather we load up 2 kgs of item number 0 into the truck. So this will give us a total amount of 13 plus, um, plus 8, 8 by 5 which gives me about uh, 14, 14 and 3 by 5, 14.6. So this will give me a truck that has 14.6 amount of value. So this is the greedy solution. This is for the fractional knapsack problem. So, if we look at it from a, a 0 1 knapsack problem point of view, we notice that this will not give an optimal solution if we employ the greedy algorithm. Why is that so? Let, let's look at this example again. In the greedy algorithm, we probably want to take the highest value per weight again. So, let's say if we look at this, we'll be taking item number 2 which is 5 kgs and then after that item number 1 because it has next highest value per weight which is 3 kgs in total this is already 8 kgs already we will not be able to load up item number 0 because we can either we only can take it or we don't take this item and so we will not be taking any items number 0 in this case if we use the greedy algorithm we are left with item number 1 and 2 Together, they give me a value of 13. However, the optimal solution is in fact item number 0 and item number 2, which gives me the value of 14. And how we get this value of 14, we're going to solve it with a dynamic uh, programming solution very shortly. Okay, so now let's try to look at some code to find out how do we solve this. So for example, if I have this uh, naive knapsack or the greedy algorithm, so I'm passing in four values, the uh, capacity uh, of the truck, the weight of the items, the uh, value of the item, um, and which is the uh, n number of items. Actually, we don't need this for the naive knapsack, but uh, but I, I somehow put it there. But let's do this together. So the first thing we want to do is we want to do a density, which is equals to my value divided by my uh, my weight. And uh, I, I can't really do this if this is a list, so I need to import numpy as np. And from here, I need to do np.array. I need to convert it to np array first before I can do this. And so this is the density of it. And after that, I'm, I want to sort it in the reverse order. So to sort it in the reverse order, I will have to do this equals to mp dot up sort. So I sort my density according to so minus one. So this sorts my uh, density in reverse order, and now I want my all my values, my density, my weight, and my values to be in this same reverse order. And I will put density equals to mp dot array density to be sorted in this order. And I'm gonna do the same for my weight. And my value as well. Okay, so we are done with the very first step. Let's make the return value 
P equals to the value of 0 my first index P equals to 0 while my C which is the uh, how to say which is the value that is remaining in my truck while there is value that is remaining in my truck uh, is, uh, which is greater than 0 if C is greater than or equals to my weight or my current uh, item in the item that I'm, I am considering it means that I can put the entire item in so I will deduct it from the weights so I deduct the value uh, the sorry the uh, the capacity remaining in the truck by the weights of the item and then I will need to add this over here let's see okay this looks correct and if it is if it is uh, smaller which means that the pack capacity is not enough to put in the full item in so I'm going to put in only part of the item into the into the truck so my uh, return value uh, plus equals to my value of my index and of course I need to scale it accordingly so because I'm only going to put it be putting in part of the uh, item because it is less than the capacity of remaining in the truck and I'm going to set C to be equal to 0 because this will mean that I filled up the rest of the capacity in the truck and I need to do an index class equals to 1 and finally I do a return yeah. let's see if this works I should get 14.6 yes so this is the example of how we convert the earlier naive greedy algorithm let's say into the code so the next thing we'll do is we'll look into dynamic programming for the knapsack problem so in the last discussion we stopped at the greedy algorithms uh, for the uh, fractional knapsack problem right now we'll be looking into dynamic programming and in particular how we solve the uh, 0 1 knapsack problem these are the two hallmarks of dynamic programming whereby okay the optimal solution to a problem contains optimal solutions to the sub problem so it actually means the following later on when we are going to analyze our dp dyna dynamic programming uh, so called the array every single point that we're going to analyze is an optimal solution to the problem this is in contrast to if you remember the n queens problem when we were doing the n queens problem we were doing backtracking and every single point there was a potential that we would end up with a dead end and we have to backtrack it to the, uh, the, the best point available again for dynamic program it is not like that for dynamic programming every single position that we are looking for that we are calculating is an optimal solution to that problem that's the first thing and the second thing is the following the recursive solution contains many small numbers of distinct sub problems repeated many times so it means that for the same thing whether do we for example whether do we consider putting in item one or two or one and two together we are actually considering this sub problem many many times so whenever you see these two or rather these are the two biggest hallmarks of any dynamic uh, dynamic programming problem that you're going to find and to make it a bit more uh, 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 so-called uh, concrete let yeah, us go back to this example of the 0 1 knapsack problem we understand the following for every single item there are only two things that will happen either you take the item or you do not take the item so that's the one of the key things that you want to understand for every single problem you only either can take it or you don't take it this is the first thing the second thing we want to understand is the following there will be 
we we will be required to store these values calculated values in an array and one of the easiest structures to store this uh these calculated values in is in an array whereby on the horizontal uh, axis we have the different items and on the vertical axis we have there the width of the truck let's look at this example this uh, this is what i'm trying to say on the horizontal axis this is the number the item number item 0 item 1 and item 2 and on the vertical axis this is the capacity of the truck so any any point of time this means that the capacity of my truck is 2 the capacity of my truck is 4 and because in our example the capacity of the truck is 10 this array will go up to 10 so essentially this is m plus 1 on this we have item number 0 item number 1 item number 2 for simplicity we usually also have a m plus 1 item this is for ease of calculation okay so this is so we are we are first we establish that there is this 2d array required when we are solving this 0 1 next set problem the second thing we're going to establish is the following we're going to start from the right to the left column by column and the first column that we're going to consider will be that of item number two and how we consider this is we will hope this will be intuitive but in this column we are going to consider whether are we going to take item number two or are we not going to take item number two once again we only have two options do we take it or do we not take it and in this first column that we are considering we are only considering item number two so as we mentioned earlier every thing that we calculate is the optimal solution to the sub problem if you are calculating this it will mean that for a truck of zero capacity and if you are considering only item number two what is the best solution for the zero one net set problem of course if your truck has zero capacity you cannot put anything inside so this would be equals to zero if your truck has capacity of one you also cannot put anything inside this would be equals to zero and two and three and four the now the interesting comes in this value my item number zero has a weight of five and a value of ten this will mean that when my truck has capacity of five i will be able to put in item number two in my truck which is why when my truck has capacity of five and i'm considering only item number two i will be able to load item number two onto the truck okay it goes on for item number four if my truck has capacity of six same thing item number two seven same thing item number two eight nine and ten so for my capacity of my truck from five all the way to ten if i'm considering only item number two i will decide to take the item so this is the main thing you want to do for this column now we come to the third thing in the third thing we are considering this column over here this column item number one has weight of three value of three when we consider this item we also want to consider also the items that have gone before it so this will be the item if you consider we if you are considering or whether this will be the column if you are considering the items before this column 
with item number one. Okay, let's go down go down this column called row by row. Over here, my capacity is zero, so definitely I will not take this item. The next one is capacity of one, I will not take. Capacity of two, I will not take. Over here, when the capacity is equals to three, I will be able to take item number one because right now my capacity is equals to three. However, I will need to compare this with my earlier column, my most immediate earlier column, which means that this is the value of the truck if I do not take item number one. This plus the value of item number one, which is three, is the value of the truck if I take item number one. Okay, how do I get this to be zero plus value of one? It actually means the following. If I don't take item number three, it means that this will be the same as this value. If I take item number 3, it means that the 3 kgs that have been used up for item number 3 has got to be, instead of putting it, instead of having it over here, I need to go back 3 kgs before. So instead of these 3 kgs over here, I will put item number 1 instead, which is why I'm taking a maximum of both this value over here as well as this plus the value of 1 which is equals to 3. The maximum of this plus 3 and 0 is equals to 3 and so 3 gets populated over here. The same thing goes for this. I'm taking the maximum of this with this plus the value of 3. And so it will be better to put item number 1 in and so item number 1 will be added in here. We come now to this point. At this point, we are considering whether should we put item number one in or not. At this point, we consider between this where we don't put item number one versus the value over here where we put item number one in. So we are considering between the value of three and ten. Of course, 10 is bigger than 3 and so we will take the state of the truck at this point which is the value of 10 okay hope uh, you are following so far let's go down to this same thing we are going to compare with this versus this value plus 3 and this will be 3 10 is larger than 3 so we will take number 10 and put populate over here same for the following row as well we're going to take 10 and together with 4 plus 3 the maximum of this is equals to 10 and populate thing 10 over here as well the next thing we come is when my truck has capacity of 8 so this will be the interesting uh, uh, capacity whereby you compare between this value which is 10 versus this plus the value of item 1 which is 3 so it means that if I don't take item number 1 my truck is only going to have a value of 10 if I take item number 1 it means that I'm going to take my item number 1 plus my truck value if I used my 3 kgs for item number 1 and this will be 10 plus the value of 3 which is 13 and so 13 gets populated over here okay so this is the one of the big um, so-called um, insights that you have to uh, have to understand it goes the same for capacity equals to 9 we're com going to compare between this versus 10 plus 3 which is 13 13 is larger than 10 and 13 gets populated over here and finally for this co comparing between 10 versus 10 plus 3 13 13 gets populated over here 
but okay let's go to the last row in the last row when you are considering item number zero item number zero has weight of five and value of four so when my capacity is zero i cannot put item number zero in when my capacity is one i will not be able to put anything in as well capacity is, is two i'll not be able to put anything in as well when capacity is three i will now be able to put item uh, rather i will be able to put whatever that is in this column inside here i noticed that i make a special care not to say in item number one because this doesn't mean that i'm going to put item number one in at this state at when i'm considering this column i only consider whether am i putting in item number zero or not whatever that goes before it it is simply the state of where the truck is it may or may not have item number one it is just the state where the truck is at this point of time the optimal solution at this point of time so at my capacity is equal to three i can only compare with this i cannot compare if i can i can take item number zero or not because item number zero capacity is five and now my capacity is only equals to three i compare with this this number gets populated inside here i compare with this same thing this number gets populated inside here now the interesting thing comes at this point at this point i'm going to compare with this number and right now there's a possibility that i can load item number zero in because item number zero has a weight of five and now the truck has sufficient capacity to load item number zero so i'm going to compare this number with the number over this plus four which is the value of item number zero 4 is less than 10 and so this value will take the state over here which means that i will not be taking item number zero it goes the same for this this is going to take the maximum of this together with this plus 4 so it's 10 with 4 so it's still 10 10 gets populated here this value will be 10 plus the value of 4 or rather 10 compared with the value of 4 over here and so this will still be the value of 10 so the interesting thing comes in the next point which is uh, over here over here this is going to compare 13 with 8 sorry uh, 13 and i will go 5 kgs up with 3 the value of 3 or rather the truck at this state has a value of 3 if i choose to take item number 0 in the total value will be equal to 7 at this point of time 7 is still less than 13 so i'm going to take item number i'm going to put this state into this state i will say again where my truck is equals to eight and then i'm considering item number zero i'm going to compare between this number and this number plus the value of zero this number is when i do not take item number zero this number is when i take three plus the value of zero which is seven is the number if i choose to take item number zero item if i don't take item number zero my value will be 13 if i choose to take item number zero it means that i will need to forfeit five kgs to be used for item number zero which is value of four the total value if i take item number zero is equals to seven seven will be compared with 13 and i find that 13 is bigger than seven so the state over here gets pushed to this state over here okay it goes the same for this this number will be compared with 3 plus the value of 4 to give me 13 over here sorry 3 plus the value of 4 to give me 7 7 is still less than 13 so 13 gets pushed to this value over here so in the last point where i'm comparing between 
when my capacity is equals 10 so I'm comparing between this versus this plus my value of 0 so this is if I do not take item number 0 if I choose to take item number 0 I will have to reserve this 5 kg up at 5 kg if I don't take whatever that's 5 kg for item for this state and instead I put item number 0 here this value will be 10 plus the value of item number 0 which is which is equals to 4 together this will be 14 right. the maximum of 14 and 13 is 14 and so we will decide to have 14 over here which means that we will take item number 0 so this is the optimal solution for the 0 1 net set problem using dynamic programming Okay, now we're going to look at the code for the <coughs> for the uh, dynamic programming uh, knapsack. It is uh, surpri surprisingly really short. So uh, uh, yeah, so uh, let's begin by first uh, defining an array, a two D array to keep our stuff. So uh, so right now we mentioned that we need a C plus one array to keep the the um, the uh, as the vertical axis so as to keep our uh, the the capacity of the truck and then we also need i plus one sorry this should be n plus one um, to keep the uh, the columns as the columns for the for the items and right now I'm going to iterate through my items but i'm going to iterate from the right to the left so i'm going to iterate from the last item which is n i'm going to go up to uh when my n equals to zero so i need to put a minus one and i will every time i do it i will i will uh, i will decrement it by a uh, uh, minus one again so this is my first for loop and for my j it is as per normal i'm going to uh oops, sorry uh, I'm going to go from 0 all the way to C plus 1 and this will mean that I'm going to iterate for my capacity of my truck from 0 all the way to uh, to C which is uh, either 10 or whatever so there are in fact two conditions so if my j so if my capacity that is in the truck is going to be less than my weight of the item that i am currently considering so the item that i'm currently considering is known as i minus one and if the weight of this is less than the item that i'm considering i will then populate it with the item that is on the right side which is the earlier item okay. so it goes to dp array of i j so that's it okay. so if my if the capacity of the truck is less than that of the width of the item so i cannot the only choice i have is to not take the item and so I would take the state that is available on the right side of the array, which is equals, which is at i, j. If my capacity is greater than that of the item, I can choose to do two things, which is either to take the item or not to take the item. So if I choose to take the item, oh sorry, so let's do this first area uh, array equal of i minus 1 j will be equal to the maximum of so this is the first case that is if i do not take the item so this will be equals this will be easy so this will be array of i j so this is if i do not take the item so what then is if i take the item if i take the item i will have firstly i will have to add in the value of the item which is equals to my value of i minus 1 and i will need to add into this the state 
of my DP away without the weight of this item I minus 1. So I need to find my DP array of I, J, but I need to deduct away my weight of my I minus 1 item. Okay, so I just let this sink in for a while. This is if I do not take the I minus 1 item, this is if I take the I minus 1 item. This is the value associated with the I minus 1 item, and this is the DP array if I instead of taking whatever that is in the state, I would I would move up to a state whereby I do not have the uh, have the item and then the weight of it or rather it goes up to a point in the array whereby deducted by the weight of the I minus one item. So this is how I populate my DB array of I minus one to J. And at the end I will return dp array of 0 and of c and this is it this is all the arrays to the algorithm and if i run this i hope i don't get any error yeah so i get a maximum volume value of 14 and if i run this i should get yeah so if i run this what this uh means is that i should probably be taking item uh, item number one and two yeah to make up the way of of uh, 50 and this should be two to zero yeah so essentially this is a very very short it's a very short piece of code but essentially this piece of code is what i described earlier in the powerpoint just now